Hello folks, Fuzz here, welcome back to Planet Coaster and Patch 1.4, the anniversary update released just today, 22nd of November 2017. And I'm going to be looking at a feature today that we've actually looked at before in the past, although it wasn't supposed to be made available to us back then, now it actually is, and we can do so officially. So this is how we can change trains on our track, the actual type of train that is on our track. So, for example, if for the last few years you've been running your inverted roller coaster, Nemesis style, but now on a flying roller coaster, you can actually make that change without having to rebuild the track from scratch. So, if you enjoy watching this video, guys, if it helps you out, please don't forget to leave a like and be subscribed to my gaming channel. So, this is actually very simple to do. And we can do this on many different roller coasters that are available to us in the game. All we have to do is with our built roller coaster, or, you know, you don't have to have a built roller coaster. You can just have the station in, actually. But what you want to do is click the ride, and then go over to the customize option. So where you'd normally go to change the colours of the track and the trains and what have you, or add your custom music. But now you have this option, select train to spawn. And it's really that simple. Bring down the drop down menu here and you can see the compatible trains that you can select for this track type. In this case we've got the inverted track type so we could go ahead and select BOA which is the two abreast across train. We could go and select Rival which is the one that we had here by default. Or we can even go ahead and select Stingray, which is the flying roller coaster type, since that too uses an inverted track. And that's a nice, neat little feature. And one thing you'll also notice as well is that everything adjusts along with this that needs to adjust. For example, the floor, the station floor, is currently set to the flying coaster type, because that's what we've set as our train. If we go back to our original inverted coaster, we get the proper inverted coaster station as well. Literally, at the click of a button. That simple. Some track types don't have as many options, unfortunately. So this is my corkscrew recreation. I made an Alton Towers ride that closed down some years ago now. But what we can do is see what's available on this particular track type. And we can see only one of the ride. And that's DGEN. Okay. So, most track designs do let you change at least to one other. Some have even more than that. There are some strange choices. For example, Rage, which is a Giga Coaster, will allow you to change the train to Enigma, which is your stand-up coaster type, but not to the standard sit-down forward breast coaster type, which is particularly strange, or the floorless coaster type, which I was sure all use the same kind of track. So there are some strange choices, as I, as I say. And the wooden coaster does allow you to change from the monster to the Nala. So I'll just show you that one. I do like this ride design, by the way. Nightmare, which I got from the workshop. So there's monster. And there's Nala. So don't forget the steel hybrid coaster is not a true wooden coaster. So that's not going to be on this particular track type. But... You do get some options at least. And there's a whole bunch of coasters as well. I won't go through them all. But there's a whole bunch that don't actually have any options to change the cars. So you can have a look at those yourself. But guys, I'm going to finish off the episode here today. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Showing you how you can change the coaster train type on your tracks. And I'm sure you'll be able to put that feature to good use for numerous reasons. But thanks for stopping by today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.